has gotten a lot of negative attention lately surrounding security procedures, including those full body scans and pat downs. Now a state representative is speaking out strongly against those measures here in the Valley, but she came a long way to make her point. Dan Spindle joins us now with that story, Dan. Oh yeah, Mark, through Canadian air travel and a network of other vehicles, cars, buses, Alaskan state representative Sharon Sisna, she's making her way to the National Conference of State Legislators. That's in San Antonio, but she said she will not go through another TSA screening. A coffee shop in Tempe hosted an event to talk TSA procedures today, a topic that has gotten a lot of people fired up, especially lately after the now infamous breast-grabbing incident from a Colorado woman at Sky Harbor. To be considered a terrorist is really an insult, and it's, it's, humili it's a humiliation. It, it's, um, it's, it was a horrifying thing. Alaska State Representative Sharon Sisna has gone so far as to travel free from the TSA's grasp all the way from the frosty North Country to Texas to highlight her own uncomfortable experience at a Seattle airport. She's stopping along the way in small settings, but she's gotten a big response. This is a silent problem. And the only way I'm going to find out what's really going on is really be able to talk one-on-one -on -one with people throughout the country. The TSA's response to the outrage? We have too many people that travel every day, and we know that the bad guys are out there to do us harm. Our job is to find them, and the latest and most innovative techniques to do that are to hiding explosives to get onto aircraft. Representative Cisna told me that despite issues which seem to divide down party lines, this issue of personal privacy is not one of them, and people from all walks of life are supporting this effort. Excitement, talent, diversity, everyone really being very, very concerned about the very same thing, and it's dignity to travel. Now, Representative Cisna, she's working with a number of organizations, some of them local, some of them national, one of those Freedom to Travel USA, FTT USA, that helped organize today's event. She hopes that others will speak up so that the TSA will be forced to change their current security screening practices. I'm Dan Spindle, Fox 10 News. Get